hey guys so you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your baby girl <laughs> big girl you know i'm excited this evening because i have someone special here like it's a special vlog okay <laughs> like you need to see what we've been through before we are able to start this video like, so okay. i'll be i'll be introducing my guests okay so i have eno okay please introduce yourself hi everyone my name is ayo eno excuse me you're still for my like i don't understand which one is hi hey, everyone my name is ayo eno Every, guys this lady is not gentle i don't gentle. understand this the way she's See, in this introduction i'm gentle i'm a child of god I'm I'm okay so now i'm a child of state and me i'm not understanding again okay so guys today honestly i don't even have uh, i don't know we're just going to be gisting okay i will be talking about different topics so what is okay you know you should start what do you want us to talk about um, I actually feel the first thing to talk about is that happiness is free. Happiness is free. Like I don't understand the free. Like you don't need to buy it, or I don't. I don't uh, know. How to, you know when I mean I don't free, understand. I mean regardless of whatever is happening. Like it's very very okay to still be happy. Okay, you can just choose to be free. Yeah, you remember I was Not telling that. you earlier on. I was telling you about something that actually happened, and I told you that. The truth is, people will always throw things at you. People will always throw stuff at you. But, like, they will always react because at that moment, they, that, that's actually the way they feel. So, they'll actually react to you the way they want to. They'll actually give you what they want. But the truth is, it's it actually depends on how you react back. How you how you actually take what has been served to you. So, happiness is free. Regardless, you can choose to be happy in whatever state. Situation. Yeah. Okay, but... <laughs> Can someone be happy when you're can you be happy when you're broke? Like it all depends. Actually, I feel it's a state of mind. I've been broke a thousand times and the truth is I don't want ever to be there. Oh, like honestly, I don't want to be there again. I honestly, to be honest, it's not easy to be broke and be happy at the same time because a lot of things will be going on on like you'll just be thinking and thinking and thinking like you be asking God, have you have you forgotten your daughter? Have you forsaken me or something? So it's not actually easy to be you're broke happiness and it's free ah. honestly sometimes eh, no, the truth check is, again the truth again. is if you notice um, there was a time that you actually earned lesser than you earn now still yeah. you were able to take off so many things well, it's, it's true Shai. It's but the true. more you go the more you go high in life the more your income increases by the grace of god and the more the the, the task actually increasing to actually take care of the more you have more tasks to take care of, the more you have more responsibilities, actually. I think that's the word. So, things will, like, you always have a lot of things to take care of in life. So, the truth is, what are you Despite the amount yes. you, you make, like, yes. despite the whatever you have, whether you're yes. rich, whether you're poor. Yes. So, you just, you just, you just have to be happy. Boys. I don't want to be broke. You just have to be happy. <laughs> like, like, it doesn't feel good, to be honest. So, it's actually not easy. <laughs> And it's it's just a way of encouraging us to just keep doing what we do. And this is what I think. I was thinking about Esther Benyongo and Benyong. Hey, God. Hey, that Esther, the forgive voice. me for the sunny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sunny, but then. Yes. Um, you know, I've, I'm like, I was thinking about her and I thought about how much she just won. Like, she just won. She just got herself 10 million naira. Like, how many years of hard work would have gotten her there? Wait, wait, wait. The voice is 10 million naira. Yes. While um, Nigerian Idol is... Um, I don't 30. really know. I don't really know it's, how much Nigerian Idol is. I think it's 30 million. But I think the voice... Because I, I, I watched the finals. I think the voice is 10 million naira. I was thinking the voice would be bigger or something. Because from the name, I to be honest, I feel it's bigger is a bigger stage platform. platform than nigerian idol i never knew it's 10 million but it's okay 10 million is not easy to come by i was like actually think i was actually talking about esther and you know a lot of hard work would like there's a lot of things that that girl would have gone through a lot of you know trying to win competitions trying to go you meet it's several crazy. persons uh -huh. you know the hard work behind closed doors and, no, and nobody's watching and there are times she must have tried and 
after the hard work and everything and she still comes out and it's just seem as though she has not been doing anything i'm sure so that people like we all we've been there before but when she won it's just like oh my god but the truth is when i talked with her one of the time i chatted her up and i was like how do you deal with this thing I, i'm she doesn't know me actually but i just felt i needed to talk to someone that that, that understand these things faith god music the industry and all of that and i just asked her a little question and she said you know you need to be happy regardless you know when you and let me tell you it comes naturally when you are dwelling in the word of god it comes naturally mm, okay. happiness it just comes because bible says yeah. one of the fruits of the holy spirit is what is joy, is joy. so it just yeah. comes regardless i was telling you about something that someone did to me recently and how it's all went. But to be honest, <laughs> well, like you just have to be joyful. You just, you just need to be. You need to be happy because the truth is, if you are not happy, like sometimes you smiling might just affect. You just have a little effect on, on the inside. Yes, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, a little it's relief. True, it's true, it's true. And when you are sad, it doesn't change anything. If you're sad about your situation, it doesn't change just anything. Your so it's situation. better if you are joyful. You, if you are, if you are happy, you can take that energy and just use it to impute into back into that thing that you need to do to bring you more income. You know, the Bible says, "Siva is my gold is mine." Hmm. Yes, Jesus that's what God speaking. actually said. <laughs> I know. <That's> <laughs> Jesus speaking. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's true. Don't mind me. See, guys, don't mind this. My uh, my scarf, oh, my hair is a whole mess. Okay, sure so I, that's why I'm sure if I remove this I'm, wig. No, 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 no. To be I'm honest, sure. this that's why I'm actually trying to just oh cover everything God. at every point in time. So, what else are we going to talk about? To, um, and uh, another thing I want to add to that is please don't look like your problem. Don't you know, look I, like I was your actually problem. on YouTube, like, I was watching some videos on YouTube this afternoon so i saw somebody did a video on how to look expensive with little amount like is that it's not easy to look expensive with small money i beg no what i'm saying what okay not with small money it's not easy to just look expensive if you don't have money like you have to have something you have to have something it's not easy to buy hair like buy nice air you know even if it's not nice air something present and um, presentable it's not easy to come by so um i don't know we can't really know much we can't really really know much but there's there's actually you know how the bible describes god is that god is beautiful yeah god is so many things Amongst this is that he's beautiful, he's the lily of the valley. Like each time I think about that, what is the lily of the valley? Have you ever have you like yeah, I've seen flowers like, like it's it so too. cute, you know, like regardless, let me tell you how beauty really comes. If you like look expensive, look whatever you want to look, but when you are sad within, when you are sad, like extremely sad, you are not willing to let go. You know, that's why I feel doctors these days, they actually talk about unforgiveness as a means of wrecking people, a means of actually making people sick. Like, okay, um, yes, forgive, unforgiveness is a, I think is a very, very high, um, what is the word I'm going to use now? Holy Spirit, help me. Like, unforgiveness is a very, very high trigger to, I think, to high blood pressure and all of that. So, if you don't look beautiful on the inside, how can you look beautiful on the outside? When we're talking about beauty, we're not actually talking about um, someone's look. The outer part. The it. outer part is actually part of it. But, like, how will I put it? I actually stayed with a girl for the sake of, you know, it's the internet, so I'm not going to mention names, alright? So, I actually lived with her and... I saw beauty within, like in and out. The beauty within eh, reflected, um, reflected on the outside, and she looked so much younger than her age. And that's the truth. When we're talking about beauty, you actually want to make people speak of you the way you want them to speak of you. Oh. If you want them to see you as beautiful, you're going to put on that smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the truth is, everyone you see around, everyone it, has the way you problem. carry yourself too matters. Yes, shows yes. it. Uh, kind of adds to your beauty. So it's not just about what you put on alone. 
when your charisma and the way you carry yourself do not touch. How do you like? You know, there are some people you just feel this is a, the way a Christian lady should dress. Like, you know, some people sometimes say eh, before <laughs> see the mentality that you're a Christian, you just have to look like churchy all the time. I think it's very very wrong. Some sometimes if you see a lady, a Christian, a church girl dress a certain way, the man I say, oh, and this girl is a Christian. Why do you think is a, a lady should a Christian lady should dress? Um, I think everybody has the mind of their own. Uh, please disclaimer, I'm not trying to say if you have a mind that is according to my <laughs> sister, she she would say left left. <laughs> I'm not trying to say it's right, but the Bible said that that um, who can know the mind of Christ? Like we can't really know except that spirit within. All right. Sometimes you put on something, and even the thing there was a time. Okay, no, let me just let that part slide. <laughs> you might actually wear something very very appealing to the eyes that make people think, oh, this one, she's so innocent and all of that but the spirit of god might be speaking against okay. that outfit at a particular time i understand sir i understand you know let me just share a story with you growing up in my church <laughs> there's there's a certain way you have just have to dress like so churchy and all like you were supposed to you know what before now when i that time i think when i was still in secondary school I was just keeping my natural hair like I would not even retouch it. I'll just do it like that. And then natural hair is not even raining. Then you also everybody wants to perm their hair, wants to re- relax your hair. So then I always had always wanted to relax my hair. So I did it while I was at home. So when I got to school, a lady that knew me from home, she knows that a, an a pastor's daughter in quotes supposed to dress a certain way. So I get this a lot though because. That particular day, she saw me already relax my hair and have long hair. She then said, Hey, Abigail, one of for she assumed him, but she, let me you know, um, translate. She said, Abigail, you see, you are retouching your hair. She did, she said it where people are gathered because our we were, we were in school during registration for our course registration. Like, she she was like, Hey, Abigail, you see, you are retouching your hair. See that day. Actually, I just feel... the, the grass to open up and swallow because I didn't I didn't do it at home. My parent, my people, my parents don't know about it. So I would just like wow, I have messed up. But I did this thing at home before even I, I felt something... really bad. There was the way they picture they, they picture Christian girls, especially pastor's daughter. There's a way I told myself this thing. Okay, I'll tell you why why that all right i'm going to speak on this thing based on two different ways but the first thing is that i always told myself by the grace of god like with the help of the holy spirit that what i want to wear to church i'm not going to wear it out if i'm going to wear leggings and i know if i wear leggings i want to use a bigger top if i'm going to wear leggings or trousers or the leggings i'm not talking about those transparent one maybe yeah, something yeah. thick that's so mm-hmm. much like yes. jeans yeah like jeggings actually whatever thing i'm going to wear i feel if i can't wait to church like with my full chest regardless of what people are going to talk about whether they're going to like it or not but if i can't wait to church i'm not going to wear it out same thing with me oh, to be honest but actually there are times we have to respect religion if this is a religion, like you know, some you know, some or, let, or let, me it it let me put it this way, let me put it this way, doctrine. All right, doctrine. there was a time that Apostle Paul, the Corinthians, was it the Corinthians that wrote to or the Romans? Yes, the Corinthians, I think. I think First Corinthians chapter eight also. They wrote to him and they were telling, they asked him. No, before I think around seven, that was when they asked him, chapter seven. They said, "Is there any food for idols?" Sorry, please. I'm I don't I'm not really certain about the scripture. And what I seven or it's by no verse eight he explained it. Please disclaimer or actually, so I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm going to paraphrase because they asked him they were like are there food for idols and he said first of all there are no foods for idols. 
You say, but for the sake of those who are still very young in the faith, in the faith. Okay. all right, so don't eat this thing in public. Don't eat it in public. Actually, when I read that part, so I'm like, okay, the whole bottles that carry everything on there, like they are just at the, at the extreme. The moment we stop listening to, the moment we stop being concerned about how people feel concerning us, like the moment we reduce, we 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 go less about it, the more healthier we're going to live. Because I've been in that place where I'm always scared. What are people going to say if I make my hair? What are people going to say if I eat this food? What are people going to say? And to some extent, they deprive me of what I want to do. But the, but the question yeah. I always ask myself, will this thing please God? Will it, will it please God? Will it cause anybody to sin? Oh, if there's none, okay, let's go. Let me, let me just do what let's I want go. to do. Actually, I'm someone that I actually feel very comfortable um, sometimes. Or let me not just talk about these things. I feel maybe it's not really time. I feel there's going to be more time we're going to talk about this. But the truth is, whatever whatever makes your conscience okay, whatever pleases God. In fact, that's the number one thing. Would this thing that? please God? You might be wearing a very long gown, but is that what God actually wants you to wear at a particular time? I've been as, there was a time I was wearing a particular skirt. See, I'm having these bumps. <laughs> I'm talking about this. There was a time I was wearing a particular skirt, but my choir asked my choir actually um. I told not to wear slit skirts. And this was a belly skirt, suit, belly suit skirt. And just a little slit at the back. You know those suits wears. Yes. And the choir is, the rule is, regardless, no small slits, no slits, no slits. No slits at all. And I already made up my mind. Like, I predestined in my heart to that Sunday morning that this was what I was going to wear. And as I was going on the way, I told my mom, mom, bye, and all of that. On my way, I said, I'm going go back. Wow. Like, it was as if my conscience was speaking aloud. Go back. And I said, no. <laughs> I'm going to praise the Lord with this outfit. Oh my God. On my Like, the first, the second, the third time, at a point, it was so my conscience, like, it was so heavy on me. It was so heavy, like, you know, the Bible actually spoke about disobedience as, a, as in the sin of witchcraft. You know, at that point, I ran back, and I, my mom was like, what happened? I told her. She laughed at me. She said, next time, when the Spirit of God pricks you and it pricks your conscience not to do something you won't do it regardless of whether it's right or not so we don't really know our left from our right <laughs> so anything that, for me anything that doesn't please god if it doesn't please god i'm not trying to say oh uh, i'm an angel or that no 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 i'm not trying to say whatever you're dressing is is actually wrong but whatever thing that pleases god and is okay with humanity let's go there okay that's cool um, um what do you think about um i i hear this a lot he said church girls most of them are pretenders <laughs> what can you say about it because to be honest and sometimes i'm just like i think there are some conditions there are some reasons why they might not just want to show their their real self in the maybe the, what they are in church is quite different from what they are outside what do you have to say about that do you think it's true some do you think <laughs> Anybody you see on the road, the person can make you see what they want you to see at a particular yeah. time. So that's all. If I want you to see me as, I can be whatever religion I want to be in. It's my choice. But the thing, the only difference is the Holy Spirit that that, that comes upon us. That's the only difference. So if I act the way I want you to see, it actually reflects who I am. When you say pretenders, I, I don't, I, I don't really know. Okay, okay. Anybody they, they, along the road does that. Anybody. No. So when you say, I feel. Okay, wait. Let me just use my myself as an example. There are a lot of things I would want to do. Not that I would. That there are a lot of things I want to do, but because, because you know the Nigerian mentality, we take things to the extreme. We just feel a church girl. Oh, there are some rules that bind people here in Nigeria and it does not even affect people outside Nigeria. So let me tell so you this. Let me tell you like this. I want to do, I just like hold myself. Um, at first, I think there was a time when when Nigerians were well, started hearing people eat cutlery, use cutleries to eat eba. It was strange. <laughs> yeah. Actually, when people say Christian, you actually feel the Christianness, you know? You know when you see lights, lights, 
oh god a christian faultless that's why people actually speak mm-hmm. against um, pastor's children they feel the pastor is someone that dropped from heaven Someone that was not born, it's true, it's someone true. that didn't pass through it's life. I, I you know, you know. If you study up. Adam, if you study Adam, if you read about um, Adam in the book of Genesis, Adam was created. Adam was formed. Adam was made already. Adam didn't really understand um, what it meant to to be born. You creep. You from there you like you you crawl. You do nah, nah. like a point where where. Where you hold um what's it called this um walker yes you walk with it and after that you taste milk then from there you eat bone Adam was just born into it and you know I don't know how to put it but the Bible says Christ came in the form of like he came in the form of flesh and he went through this so he understands everything that we're actually going through I don't know that you get it so people seeing that that if a um, a Christian is someone that fell down from heaven. For goodness sake, some of us are some of the Christians you see, they've been they've been bad people before, before they gave their yeah, lives yeah, to Christ. Yeah. Some of them like in fact we all as human we have we have addictions, we have habits, we have so many things that we just say, Okay, for the sake of Christ, I'm going to let this go. I was telling you today how I ate like three square meal while I was on the bed. Like one, two, three. I was just like, you know, someone see me be like, oh, a Christian should be fasting. You know, one, two, go fast, yes. But the thing okay. is, we are humans. The moment you begin to accept someone, like, you begin to accept the person the way the person is, and the change that the person is going through, because the person is into transition. At that point, yeah. the person is moving from that. I don't know how to put most of the pastors you have, some of them have been robbers, some of them, you know, they've been smokers. So they are not a perfect yes, human. Yes, before, before they encountered they Christ. Spe- they are not, not even yeah. special. They are not different from and, the and we should, we, The moment we begin to realize that this was the same reason Christ came. For the same purpose, Christ came. Because he came to die for our sins. <laughs> now, our sins are being forgiven and everyone now is beginning to give their life to Christ too move from their sins to so you accept them that there are no angels that they actually humans trying to become someone perfect mm. wow that's that's exciting like interesting thank, thank you so much God. for your time you know like mm, <laughs> oh my God. god it feels good to have you here like i'm honored so guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel yet please kindly subscribe and if you like this video please don't forget to give it give it a thumbs up okay so i will link enos channel to this in my description box so you can check out our page and show our love okay so see you some other time thank say hello to my viewers thank you guys thank you so very much for my long talk hmm. as in there <laughs> it's really a long talk because sometimes i just have to just say enos <laughs> i can't imagine i was in the hands like, i don't have to say enos <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys thank you so much for watching see you later bye <laughs> what kind of slow motion shot <laughs> is this one Okay.